kinds of animals share your backyard with you. You just have to know when and where to look. You have to be like a detective and identify the signs left behind from the animal. A tail drag, a track, a bit of feed, feathers left behind, or even scat. But some animals don't leave many clues behind, like that eastern box turtle. Hi, I'm Pat. We're going to be learning more about the eastern box turtle and how to draw it, connecting you to nature and wildlife through the arts. Come with me, we'll make history when Pat tracks the animal. Hi, I'm Pat. See turkeys and snakes, fish and squirrels when Pat tracks the I animal. See Isn't it a little beauty? This is Tennessee state reptile and one of only two species of box turtles found in the whole United States, which ranges from Texas throughout the southeast and north to Michigan. Where are you going? Eastern box turtles vary in shell shape and size and also in coloration. This one is very highly colored in yellows and browns decoration and if you See its scales on its head, it's very bright yellow color, and on its forelegs there, it's very brightly colored. And this blends in with its habitat here because there's a lot of little yellow flowers everywhere along with the clover here. And if you wasn't really looking for this turtle, you wouldn't see him in his habitat and his coloration. We're going to see, we're going to try to determine whether this is a male or a female eastern box turtle. And it's easy to identify whether it's a male or female because all you have to do is look at its eyes. You're okay. You're okay. The eye color of a female will be either light yellow or a light brown. And this is a little female because her eyes are very light brown. Very beautiful. You have very beautiful eyes. And also you can tell by the high dome shape of the shell. And if you'll gently flip her over, she has a very flat bottom shell. You're okay. Yes, you are. And also, you can look at her, her toenails. She has very blunt toenails, and that also identifies her as a female. And she has a cute little short tail behind. You have a good cute tail. Yes, you do. And this also is a characteristic of a female. Now, the main characteristic of a box turtle, an eastern box turtle, is the fact that it has a hinged shell. The bottom shell will have a hinge on it like this. And this is where the box turtle drives its name because when it feels threatened, like it feels like it's about to be eaten by a predator, it will pull its little head in, tuck in its forearms like this, pull in its back feet like this, tuck its little tail in, just play like I'm a predator and I'm going to eat you. There you go. Now, she's got all of her vulnerable parts all pulled in and they're all safe inside of her shell there. And the predator can't get to her. And that's where it looks like a little box. And that's how its name was derived. The Eastern Box Turtle. Did you know that turtles have outlived the dinosaurs? and many other prehistoric creatures to become one of the oldest living families in the animal kingdom. The turtle shell is what makes the turtle so unique from all other creatures. The shell is actually a modified rib cage made up of 60 bones and is attached to its backbone. That's why turtles can feel pain through their shell. The shell itself is bone, but the colorful overlay that we see is actually a thin layer of keratin, the same stuff your fingernails are made of. Fox turtles are omnivores in the broadest sense of the word. They will eat almost anything, animal or plant, that will fit into their mouth. Their favorite foods include juicy worms, any fruit or berry, and mushrooms. 
The box turtle is one of the most common species of turtles found in Tennessee. And there's another one. Oh, this is a little male. I can tell that by that red eye. Male uh, box turtles, eastern box turtles, they have red eyes. Where the female's eyes was a light brown or a light yellow. But he has a bright red eye. And this is one major characteristic that shows me that he's a male. Another characteristic is his flat shell. And this little guy has been hurt. He's got a scar on his shell. And this may have happened with a fight with another turtle. Or he could have rolled down a rocky cliff. Or it may have happened be, uh, with a human intervention. It may be like a lawnmower or something may have run over him and hurt him. But it looks like he's clearing up okay, and he's going to get over that. Now, another characteristic of a male eastern box turtle is this concave bottom shell. See how that's curved in? And he's a lot darker than the female also. His toenails are a lot longer. Look at these long, long toenails. He has long toenails for, uh, for defending his territory. He, he is very territorial. Eastern box turtles and male turtles are very territorial. And they'll fight out any other males that come within their territory. So these males here are for fighting. And also, look at his cute tail. His tail is, is much longer than a female's tail. Watch him tuck it in. And just like the female, he can draw his feet in, his hind feet, his fore feet, and also his head, and he feels threatened by a predator. You should never pick up a turtle in the wild and take it home with you. They have a homing instinct that causes them to try to return to the place of their birth. And if they're moved, this causes a turtle to encounter many dangers trying to get back to its home, to its territory. Let's draw this little box turtle and get to know him a little bit better. <laughs> It's easy to draw anything you set out to draw as long as you break it down into geometric shapes. Make it simple. And the eastern box turtle is simply made up of circles and ovals and triangles. And we're going to put all these together and then come back later and add details to it. Come back here. We want you to be our subject today. There you go. We're going to be drawing the female eastern box turtle today. And remember, the female eastern box turtle has a high dome shaped shell, like this. And it's fluted out at the bottom, like this. And I'm going to draw a rounded line to indicate that this is a three dimensional shape. Her head is an oval, and I'm going to draw her head ended from her body just a little bit, stretched out like this. She may be looking around. And I'm going to flatten her skull just a little bit. And create her mouth. Now, the eastern box turtle, uh, they, uh, she has a beak like a parrot's beak that forms her mouth. And she's got a little bit of a overbite that comes down. And she has a little nostril right there. Now I'm going to Go back and add these lines. These lines indicate where the two shells come together. And I'm going to draw the front leg. I'm going to draw her toes. One, two, three, four, and five over here. She has five toes on her front foot. I'm drawing her muscle. Now remember, turtles are reptiles, so we have scales on the legs. And remember that female 
eastern box turtle that we saw earlier today had beautiful, bright, yellow scales on her legs. I'm going to be sure to put these in. I'm going to go back here and put in her hind legs. Three, four toes on her hind foot. We still have the scales. Okay, now we're going to go back to her head, and we're going to put in her eye. Now, you'd think the eye would go in the center of the head, but actually it's up towards the front of the head. So we're going to draw in the eye, and this indicates a, a piece of skin that bulges at the top of the eye. Her eye is uh, oval. put in the folds of skin around her head. Now remember, she can pull her head back into her shell. Also, she can pull her legs and her tail all into her shell. And uh, it creates a little box, and that's where her name is derived, the Eastern Box Turtle. I'm putting in a little bit of details. Bottom part of the shell. And a female eastern box turtle has a cute little short tail. And I'm going to put these lines down to indicate the ground. And we don't want to forget her feet over on the other side. whole lot of the leg and the foot over there, but we want to be sure to indicate them. Okay, now we're ready for the shell itself, and the shell is uh, created in sections. Along the fluted edge, we have geometric shapes that look like little squares, and then these segments that go over top of the shell are called scoots. And there are five scoots across the top of her shell. One, two, three, four, five. Then we have lines coming down. Here. That creates the shell. Now remember, a turtle's habitat is on the ground, usually on the forest floor. And the female box turtle that we saw this morning had brightly colored designs on her shell. And the, the colors of these designs were brightly orange, brightly yellow in color. And this mimics the sunlight shining through the leaves of the trees hitting the forest floor. And it breaks up her shape and keeps her safe when she's out foraging for food. So we're going to draw in these sunburst of colors. And they can be almost any shape. The color of the turtle shell can be any shape, any color also. Uh, there can be bright yellows. Usually the Male turtles are darker than the female colors on their shells, but it doesn't really hold true. I'm going to put in the design on the, on the side here. Looks like little crescent moons. Go back and add a few little details. 
wrinkles. And there we have the female eastern box turtle. If you find a turtle in the wild in your backyard, treat it friendly. Watch it from a distance and admire its beauty. If you do pick it up, be sure to wash your hands. Turtles and other reptiles can carry a salmonella bacteria. This doesn't bother the turtle, but it can make humans very sick. And always remember to walk softly in the wild because you're walking across someone's home. See you next time!